All right, what is up, everybody? The LA Gamer here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode five of my road to the show with the one and only Drew Stevens. There we go, guys. I finally got his name down. Yeah, you see right here, I am tied for the league lead in uh, batting average. Me and this guy actually have almost identical stats in terms of home runs, RBI. Uh, oh, I went to the wrong league. I don't know where I'm at. Oh yeah, home run, RBI. We're almost very similar. We have the same hits per at bat. And all this good stuff. So, um, exciting stuff there. Uh, we are going for that batting average lead, of course. But I don't really care a whole lot about it because I'm not looking to be in Double A much longer. Uh, we're gonna talk to our manager about going higher in the batting order. I like your progress you're making at the plate, but I can't see myself move. Oh my god, I hate you so much, coach. Anyways, um, so I'm at 61 overall now. Maybe I just need to increase my overall or something before he'll. Before he'll consider moving me up, I don't really know. I'm gonna work on play vision here. Just because play vision, like it says, it helps you put the bat on the ball, which might help me a little bit with making some more uh, solid contact. And I think I think that's a big influence in how you're gonna be hitting the ball. So that's why I'm working on that. Um, well, anyways, we have all this good stuff. There's really nothing else that I think we need to look at. Oh yeah, one last thing. I actually did sell a few players on Diamond Dynasty, which has given me over 1,000 subs. Due to that, I'm going to go to the Stubbs shop, go to the road of the show, Grain, grain Bakers, the <laughs> Game Breakers, and we are going to get with these 1,000 training points. The influence that this will have is that, well, basically it's just a free 1,000 points. Um, so you basically just trade Stubbs one for one for training points, and now that I have 1,000 training points, I will work my player. This should make a pretty big difference just because I'm such a low overall. Uh, 1,000 subs is like hitting the jackpot. So, we're going to work on these stats and just work on our hitting, and now we are 64 overall. Now, I wish we did that before we talked to the to the manager, because that probably would have helped with the whole, um, with the whole moving up in the batting order, because now I would have been a higher overall than a lot of the guys up here. I'm actually the highest, or tied for the highest overall on the, on the lineup. I'm not sure about the pitching, but it might be the highest overall on the whole team itself. And there we go, I'm batting six, so I don't... I don't really understand the whole point of the lineup menu if it doesn't even tell you your actual lineup, but um, I guess it's it's a nice little feature just for show. It may be there for decoration, because I don't know about you guys, but um, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but the lineup menu always says I'm going to bat ninth, and then I end up batting 5th, 6th, or 7th, so don't don't know necessarily what's going on there. Um, I'm not going to question it, but I, I'm still relatively confused about what's going on. Now, one thing, though, is... I, I didn't know that we we're gonna be playing in this park, but I've actually really, I've always, I've always really liked this park. I don't know why. I just always thought it looked really nice, and um, it, it, I think it's a bigger stadium actually, so it might be a little bit tougher to hit home runs. If you see center field is 420 feet, which is just ridiculously far for a minor league stadium. That's actually ridiculously for, uh, far for a major league stadium. So we're just a little a bunch of little minor leaguers. I can't hit. Uh, although I talk about hitting these dingers all the time, I actually can't really hit home runs for shit, as you guys know, because I have like 35 power. Um, but it's improving. I mean, that's the good news is uh, I'm improving pretty steadily with my character. We're only like a couple weeks in. Them. I've already improved, I think, close to 10 overalls. So there's been an obvious amount of improvement through my guy's stats. So you can't, I, well, I, I can't really complain about what's been going on. More good news is that we're, wow, we were putting together a pretty good first inning. Uh, just a good series of hits. Now we're up 2-0 with one out. And here I here I go with the RBI opportunity. Um, now, wow, that was a nice pitch. Slider hit the top right corner. I don't, or top outside corner. I don't know how he hit that with a slider, but uh, impressive pitch right there. I did not swing on that. Okay, thank you, dude. I swear, if he said that I swung, I'd probably walk on there and just hit him. And I would have, like, club him in the knees with his back because I know for sure I did not swing on that. I don't even know how it was even debatable. Okay, um, somehow I was early on that fastball that went right down the middle. I felt like I had pretty nice timing on that, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'll trust the game on that one. Okay, well, either way, something I discussed in the first episode, second episode, actually, is how slumping is a legit thing in this game. Like, if you start doing bad, they will actually put you, like, like they will just put you in random slumps because they feel like you're too good, which happens to me all the time because I'm so freaking good that they just purposely put me in a slump because they need to calm down my 480 batting average, um, which is actually really frustrating. Like, there will be times where 
you'll like get perfect timing on a fastball down the middle and your guy will pop it up. This happens all the time in MLB, which creates a lot of controversy because uh, it makes you feel like the game is screwing you over. But right there, I'm going to go for that jump. I wanted to get that catch. I don't know what the purpose of the hit and run is if the guy's not even going to try going to third. <laughs> I was like, that was just kind of useless, but um, I was really hoping that guy wasn't going to swing on that pitch because I really wanted to see what would happen if I was there trying to tag a dude out on a stolen base, but either way, I think my strategy from this point on is I'm just going to start simming to my actual plays because I think that it's it's taking too long when I'm trying to watch every single app at. I'm just kind of simming to what plays actually involve me because I don't know, like these, it, it just seems like it's taking forever sometimes um, when I'm just watching some people bat. But either way, here I am up to bat. Um, I don't know, I just feel like I had good contact on that one hit, but um, here we go. Start off that one, I'm pretty sure I just chased the slider. I did, that was a little bit out of the strike zone. This guy's actually a slider dominant pitcher, you see that the only fastball he has is a two-seamer, which isn't even his number one pitch. So this guy probably doesn't throw all that hard, and he probably has pretty good curve. These are just little assumptions I can make based off of the pitches he throws and the speed at which he throws them. Um, but right here, almost ground into my second double play of the game. That's that's not good at all. Uh, the first double play I had completely ruined a pretty good inning, and now that one, uh, that one was, I don't know. I just need to get the ball off the ground. That was a terrible jump. Run, run. Run, no. I should have just stayed back as soon as I did the jump, because as soon as I did it, I knew I knew I was going to get thrown out on a good throw, because that, that jump was ugly. I don't know how I mistimed that so bad. I just don't think I was paying attention. Okay, ooh. God damn it, second baseman. I, I hate it when you do that. I hate it so much when you take my, my uh, double play. Especially considering the fact that I'm pretty sure I, I have better arm strength than him. I'm just basing this off off assumptions, but I have a pretty good arm strength, so I don't know. I feel like I should be throwing people out uh, more than he is. Either way, right here you see we're going to try to taunt him a little bit by aiming the bat at him. Oh, oh my god, on the ground again. Was that three straight ground outs to shortstop? One of which was a double play. second one almost results in a double play, and that one was just luckily nobody was on base. <sighs> Either way, they ended up tying up the game. I feel like if we do end up losing, I'm going to have to put the blame on myself for this one because, I don't know, for once I'm not having a good game. This is going to be like my first game where I don't actually... Oh, got him! Got him, coach! Yes, sir! Don't try to steal on me. I don't care if the catcher had a nice throw. It was me who tagged you, so that's all me, baby. Whew. Okay, at least that got me a little bit pumped. But, um... I would feel like I have to put some blame on myself for the first time because... I can't get a hit right now. I don't know why. My guy just needs to get one off the ground. Maybe off the angle low, cause I want to get. I'd rather get on top. Of, I mean, get under. I think on top of it at this point. Cause I, there, yeah, there we go. That's kind of what I was saying. I just want to hit a little bit higher up rather than so far out. The runner's actually going to try to go home, and he is going to manage to do so. Though, so I actually get a sacrifice fly and an RBI on that one. It wasn't the greatest at bat, but who cares? We put together multiple runs this inning. Uh, okay, three runs. The inning uh, didn't continue. But let's see what they're able to put together. They're going to need to put together three runs to uh, to tie us up. And they do not manage to do so. So that's the game, boys. We are going to walk out of here with a 5-2 to two victory. So let's move into the next game. Now, I know that game was not all that interesting. Sadly, that's, that's going to be kind of the case occasionally with this type of series is that I'm doing everything live. So... Uh, realistically, if I ever have a bad game, there's no way for me to work around it. It's just there. And, um, yeah, I just hope you guys are fine with that. For the most part, and I think that's like that's the worst game I've had. So, for the most part, I've been keeping things, I think, mostly entertaining because I've been able to get the bat on the ball and been hitting the ball relatively well. Um, oh, we just got Doug Fister for Alexis Sanchez. I don't know who that is, but let's look at Doug Fister. I thought he was a starter, but I guess he was changed to a relieving pitcher recently or something. He still has 91 stamina. I don't know why he's a reliever, considering how bad... I don't know. I feel like if we moved into the, to the actual rotation, he would be better there. Uh, but this reminds me... Let's take a quick look at the team and see if there's anything to build around. Not a good pitching staff. Not good relievers. 
Uh, actually, a pretty good closer. I like Glenn Perkins. Um, decent catcher. Decent first baseman. Good second baseman. Good third baseman. Me at shortstop soon. And then uh, pretty bad outfield because I like Torrey Hunter a lot, but he's going to retire. So, th I mean, this team, I'm saying decent, but, like, you need to have more than just, like, three good players. You need to have at least one great player. I mean, the best player on our team is a 40 overall. I mean, an 80, a 40 overall, an 85 overall. And that's a problem. So, I have to look at some other teams. Uh, actually, when I'm on the Astros, because, like I said, I played for them before and they did well, but, I mean, now they have Carlos Gomez and Carlos Correa, who's at 87 overall in this roster update. This team is stacked with young beast players. Even this Lance McCullers guy. I don't know if that's a real person. Um, I probably feel I feel stupid if it is because um, he's a high overall. He probably is if he's a high overall and A potential, but that guy's a beast. I mean, this team looks awesome with youth and, and just good players. That would be awesome to play for. But like I said, at this point, I'm not worrying about teams specifically because, like I said, I have no control over what team I get traded to. So why would I be, you know, why even worry too much about what team I go to considering that I have no influence over it anyways? So I, I shouldn't be uh, so concerned about it, but... I only got a quick glimpse before I started the game, but I'm pretty sure that said I was batting fourth. And I'm the DH for some reason. I'm You can see that on the warm-up swings. For some reason, I'm DHing. Um, so this might be a quicker episode because when you DH, you just don't, I mean, you don't get any fielding opportunities. So, yeah, that kind of just speeds things up a little bit. I think the only real reason I can think of them DHing me is usually once every four games or so, um... The coach will bench you to let you take a breather, basically, just let you take a break for one game. Uh, but this is my fourth game, so this should be the game that I'm sitting out. But it looks like their their way of resting me is not by taking me out of the lineup, but instead by putting me at DH, which I actually prefer. I want to play as many games as I can, and if playing DH is something that's necessary for a game um, to avoid sitting on the bench, that's something completely fine with me. Because realistically, I'm just trying to get as many points as I can, and I can't do that if I'm sitting on the bench and sitting out games. So. Either way, yeah, I was correct. I am batting fourth. Um, and my stats versus righties aren't bad for a double-A player. 50 contact and 40 power. That sh should be enough to at least hit one dinger, considering the fact that I actually do have... I have equipment upgrades as well, which make my, my contact like a 57 and my power like a 47. And with those those statistical um, improvements, that's like... That's, that's pretty good. Like, that's triple-A worthy. And maybe like a bad MLB player level. By the way, right here, you guys already know I'm going to steal second. Oh my god, that was close. I don't know why I'm getting so close being thrown out lately. I don't know if it's the, the catcher is just throwing the ball better or if I'm just mistiming it or what's going on there. But that was oddly close. Like, I'm pretty sure. I thought for sure I was thrown out there. I must have made it by a, a split second. But jeez, I don't know what to do. Like, this is way too. This is way too. Uh, ooh, this is way too scary because. Um, I got thrown out like two times in my past th th three stolen bases and it's just kind of kind of bad considering I started off the season with, like six stolen bases and not being thrown out once. All oh, right there I was thrown out by a mile. Okay well I got a little bit ahead of myself I think I think we're all aware of that. Um, maybe maybe I will have to improve my speed or my base running ability a little bit because yeah recently I've been having some trouble. Does anybody know why that, um, did anybody see the ball blink red, like, when he threw it? I have no reason, I mean, no clue why he did that. Was that, like, it's way of saying he just threw me a money ball or something? Because that's how I viewed it, that's why I swung at it. And that's not a money ball, that's like a, he painted the corner. I don't know. Oh, that's a money ball! There's no way I'm hitting it 420 feet, but, oh my, I just hit that 400 feet. If I hit that to any other part of the park, or any other ballpark, that's a freaking home run. Oh my god. That's a, that was a hanger. I almost, I almost, destroyed. I probably put a dent in the ball, like that shouldn't even be possible, but I feel like I, I beat that ball up pretty bad on that last hit. Oh, not again. Okay, but something I emphasized was that I'd rather be lifting it than grounding out, so that's one good, good thing about what's going on, but... I'm lifting it pretty deep, it's just the center field here is not a place you want to hit it because it's just, it's 420 feet. Like, no double-A player can, can really hit it 430 feet, and if they can, they should not be in double-A. 
So that's basically the end of the, the episode. I know this wasn't entertaining. Um, as entertaining as other episodes, I finished like a one for eight in this video. Uh, but I hope you guys still enjoyed. And if you did, please click the like button below. Make sure to comment your opinion of the series and why it should make more interesting. Make sure to, I totally forgot my outro, but make sure to subscribe also. If you have not already, stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the support you guys have been giving me uh, since my return. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.